What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, every week, we're bringing to you guys tips, tricks, and things that will help ignite your relationship, hopefully take it to the next level, so you know, you're having a good time through this journey we call life. Um, and hopefully your partner's having just as much fun uh, mm -hmm. and loving you just as much as you're loving them, hopefully. Or right? more. <laughs> or more, right? <laughs> That's the goal, right? Um, so this week, you know, we're coming to you from one of our newer locations, I guess. Um, it's our Olympus Lounge, our Titan Medical Lounge, our pad here. So we're putting it together. So you know what? We're like, you know what? We're here. We might as well film Cupid's Corner here too as well. Um, so this week, we're going to come with something that kind of intertwines with our therapy of the week. So every week here at Type Medical Center, we have a therapy of the week. And that spotlights a therapy that can help you physically, mentally, and um, you know, spiritually possibly in some instances, because at that point, you're gonna feel better about yourself and overall better relationship with your partner because of that. Always. So this week we wanna talk about physical, mental health, benefiting sexual health because all these things correlate and go together. Mm -hmm. um, they all intermingle, right? Because physical health, we wanna have, so one, that we're healthy, we're walking around, getting out of bed, being able to do what we wanna do, and also being able to um, you know, take our partner's excitement to the next level too. Perform. Physically. Perform. On all levels, you know, because it's performance is not just performing physically, right? You need to perform mentally yep. and emotionally. Yep. I know me speak on behalf, I'm sure, of 90% of the females out there, and probably males too, you guys just don't talk about it. Um, you know, we connect on more of an emotional level, right? Yep. So, you know, to just bounce off of what if John's saying, yep. you know, me personally, when I'm really stressed out, which is all the time, but when I'm really stressed out, it essentially it starts to affect me mentally and I might just go the whole day and honestly not even think about it, mm -hmm. right? Even though I have the sexiest man on the planet, I mean, literally Ooh. speaking, right? But I mean, you know, you just might just, it just things go by so quick and all of a sudden, boom, the day is gone and that's it. You, yeah. you didn't even, you didn't think about it until your head hits the pillow and you're like, uh, hey, by the way, you were still up? <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I mean, like she's talking about emotionally, right? So, you know, men are usually more physical creatures, right? For excitement wise or, or you know, to get going. For females, it's an emotional thing. Uh, they're more mentally connected. So they might, that's why, you know, like some girls are like, I like funny guys, ha ha ha, I don't even know what they look like. And those guys be girls. <laughs> or you might, you know, be walking down the street and a guy like, man, how did this guy pull that girl? You know, look at him, look he at me. He might be a good person. And it might be a mental simulation thing. Yeah. That guy might be smarter than you. He might have the IQ there, right? Mm -hmm. He's strong in the mind, may not be strong in the body. Mm -hmm. There's different ways to be strong. Very true. Um, but, you know, I think we all generally, you know, want to have better physical health. And the reason is, and that doesn't mean you have to be jacked up or a bodybuilder or anything mm -hmm. like that. But if you want to be able to be more physically healthy, it's going to help your sexual relationship. And let me tell you why. One, you want to make sure, A, your health, like I said, you get out of bed and you're doing what you want to do. Two, you want to make sure you have that stamina, you have that endurance, you have that go factor. Um, and with this, with physical health, if you're active, right, it's going to help with blood flow and a number of different things they are going to help you perform in the bedroom. Right? I mean, I know a lot of guys, me personally, because I'm not the biggest gym fanatic there is. The only time I really need to get, like, I feel the need to get in the gym is when I'm like, oh, these pants don't fit. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the gym, right? I'm one of those. At least I can admit it, right? I'm a very straightforward person. All of you guys that do know me know that. Um, but, you know, for guys, or, I mean, specifically John, you know, I do know that if, you know, he doesn't get to go to the gym or at least get to work out or 
do something. And honestly, he doesn't even ask for like these two or three hour workout sessions, right? The guy's asking for like 45 minutes. He's not even asking for anything crazy, but he just needs that moment to really just release, you know, half a second. It's almost like a female doing yoga or something, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's your outlet. So that's his outlet. And it, 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 not only does it help him mentally, but it's gonna help him physically. And it's gonna help with his health and his heart and all the cardiovascular things and all the great stuff too. Yep. But with him being able to do that, it does genuinely help him in the bedroom. And Absolutely. I'm not talking about performance wise, just mentally, yep. you know, it just does. I, it's something for him specifically. And I'm sure there's probably a lot of guys out there that are the same exact way. Yep. And it may not, the outlet might not be the gym. Right. The outlet, maybe the outlet is a, they like to go and play basketball with their friends, right? Right? Or maybe it's a guy that plays baseball and he wants to play a softball game, you know, once a week with the guys. Yep. Um, Tennis, golf, you name it. Not, it could be anything. Maybe it's even just a, walking the dog around the block a couple times, you know, and there's you and your dog and you guys can, you know, whatever, stop by the fire hydrant. But I mean, you know, it's just to each his own. And everybody has their own way True. to do it, but I do think it's very important that they, they definitely go hand in hand. Absolutely. So when we think about this, right, you want your physical health so you can perform physically, right? And some people lose this with losing their health. They mm -hmm. get, you know, cardiovascular issues, blood flow problems, or on medications, they have these negative symptoms on their libido or power downstairs. Um, they really don't know what to do. So at that point, physical health is important. The next thing, mental health. Some people are depressed. Some people have a lot on their mind, whether there's job or strain or you know, going through custody battle, whatever it may be. There's a lot of people out there dealing with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And this mentally, right? You can't it, connect it, it like that. It takes them down. It, you it can't. takes them down. So you know, some people might think that they have an erectile dysfunction problem when it's really a mental barrier of something that's going on or stress factor. Mm -hmm. So you know, if your partner is telling you, hey, listen, I got a lot on the brain, there might be something that's really taking them down and mm -hmm. you might want to help them out and be supportive of them. Right. And then find out, hey, listen, is it, a, is it a mental thing or a physical thing? And then kind of find the root to that problem and take care of it because you guys can all take care of that. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is females. So a lot of females, it's a very high percentage of females never achieve orgasm or they can't achieve orgasm with their partner or, you know, they're just not, you know, being able to perform optimally on their levels and what they do. Yeah, I think that's crazy considering that we just learned this fun fact the other day. What is it? What? Oh, the percentage the of, of females that don't have orgasms? No, 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 no. The one thing where, where how many uh, nerve endings there are. Oh, so there's 4,000 nerve endings in a male penis and there's 8,000 nerve endings in there's a vagina. Double, can you believe that? So there's double yeah. the nerve endings yeah. in a female. Yeah. yet it's harder for a female to reach orgasm yeah. isn't that insane yeah that goes to show you that it's yeah. got to be like a mental sometimes the emotional connection you know it's yeah. just it's i know for me personally listen if i'm in if i'm like this deep into work and i've got all these issues going on and things are going on around that you know whatever is this to be able to pull me aside for a second and be able to disconnect it, mm -hmm. that takes a very special skill. Absolutely. A very special skill <laughs> to cut it off for a minute, refocus, <laughs> and be like, okay, you know, as you know, we're having fun, I'm not thinking, oh no, how many emails do I have? You know, it's, it's the worst feeling ever. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's, it does, it goes back to the mental stress, you know, Absolutely. the physical stress. Um, I know personally, when I got sick with COVID last year, I was incredibly sick with it. It affected, you know, sexual health. I mean, because there was a lot I couldn't, I couldn't do, or put it this way, there might have even been things I could do, but I didn't want to, mm -hmm. you know, because I just, I wasn't feeling good. I was, I was sick. All right, that's how it is. So, I mean, these are some things you guys got to look for. Yep. Now, at that point, listen, Tight Medical Center can help both males and females out. Okay, we offer therapies for libido enhancement for both males and females. So for males, we've got a number of different things from our Supermans, our Ironmans, and our Cupid's Candy, mm -hmm. right? For females, we've got you handled, okay? So they make PT-141, and both males and females can have this. And what it does is, it works a little bit different than your Viagra Cialis that men usually use. What it does is it works on the nervous system for libido effect for females. So it's directly gonna connect you to your partner and make it a more enjoyable experience. And both you guys can use these therapies as well and both get ultimate pleasure and satisfaction out of these things. So if you guys want to learn more about those therapies that we just talked about or want to increase or up your game in the bedroom for your partner, you guys can call or text 727-389-3220. 
and talk about our Supermans, our Wonder Womans, Iron Mans, our PT-141 with Cupid's Candy. So this has been another great episode, guys. All right, we'll be here every Sunday, 11 a.m., here for you guys on ABC. And if you guys didn't DVR it and you missed it, check it out. Go to YouTube.com, type in Type Medical Center, and you'll see all these great shows and a lot, lot more. Make sure you guys are keeping it locked to our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and any other ones that are going to pop up yeah. soon. Yeah, all the rest of them. <laughs> so I'm John. I'm Cherie. And we'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.